Hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited. Today we're going to be finally testing out these vegan Morphe brushes. Now these are the first brushes from Morphe that I've gotten. I am a super deal girl, so most of my brushes I've gotten off Amazon. But these went on sale for $25, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to go for the plunge, test it out, buy some big girl brushes, and see if they are worth the hype. I have heard incredible things about Morphe brushes. You guys probably know a lot of the big beauty gurus love using these, have talked these up quite a bit. Okay, I'm so excited. Let's just go ahead and open it up. So this is how it arrives. It's folded in this kind of like artistry type of packaging. It's got these strings that just wrap around to tighten to keep it all in this really nice leather bag. This doesn't feel super cheap. Definitely it was super strong of chemicals when I first opened it up though, so that was a little bit of a downside for the experience. But for the most part, I might actually keep these in this just to keep the brushes in good condition. So this is how you will get this. I'm going to flip it up so you can see all of those beautiful brushes. I did take them out of the packages. They had like little plastics around each one to keep them safe during shipping. It does have a zipper um, right here on the side. But the funny thing is, is the zipper only goes to like this inside compartment. It doesn't go back behind the brushes. So I kind of felt like that was a little bit of a waste. I would have liked to have had like that whole compartment to be able to put stuff in. But you have only just like this short little section about this big. Um, I don't know what you would really want to put in there. Maybe a concealer on the go if you really needed to. I don't know. I guess that would be up to you. Okay, you guys don't even know how excited I am. This looks like it's a blush brush just because of the angle. Oh, that feels so nice. Wow, it's so, so soft. It's so soft, you guys. And then this one it looks like it's probably a concealer brush, but you could use this one for whatever, maybe for highlighting. Oh, look at this fluffy one. This looks similar to one of Jeffree Star's that has just come out recently. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. So let's just jump on in. I do want to prime my face with the Fenty Beauty Primer. Just put those in my textured areas. I like to let my primer set for just a little minute. So while that's setting, I want to grab the Morphe Primer and I'm going to prime my eyelids and under eye with this. Okay, next up is foundation. I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Beauty Foundation. I'm going to put that all over. I go back and forth between this one and Estee Lauder. They work so good for oily skin. Going in with my Morphe sponge. So my foundation is done. Now we're going to move on to a concealer. And what I'm going to do is do half of my under eye with the Beauty Blender and the other half with this brush right here that looks to be a decent concealer brush. Unfortunately, the vegan set does not have numbers, so I can't give you guys a number, but I believe this one would be perfect for concealer. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in. So I just applied concealer here and just down the center of my face. It's time to do the under eye. So like I said, I'm going to do one side with the Beauty Blender and the other side with this Morphe brush. Let's see how this is going to blend this baby out. To set my eyes today, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Microfiber Loose Setting Powder. I'm going to use my Beauty Blender on one side, and then we're going to take another brush from our Morphe kit and do the other side. I'm going to go in with this beauty right here. I know I said earlier this looks like a good blush brush, but I'm going to choose this one out of the pack to set my under eye. I think the angle would work really, really good for that as well. 
While that sets, we're going to move on to some contour. I'm so excited to use this beautiful, beautiful brush for contouring. I think that's going to just be so perfect. So I'm going to take my beloved Cocoa Contour and go in with the shade Medium Cocoa along the cheekbones. Make me look slimmer. Whoa. Oh, holy moly. That's epic. Wow, like this brush is super fluffy, but at the same time, it's a little stiff. Like, <laughs> I know it makes me think of, uh, what is it, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and how there's one that's just right. Like, this one is just right. Oh, it's just perfect. I love that. It just is not so ex too extreme. Just lets you just get the perfect swoop. Apply some of that up above on my forehead as well. I'm so in love with this brush. Like, at this point, if I could choose one brush out of that whole kit that I love, I think it's going to be this one. Next to contour my nose, they gave me this little stubbly guy. I think this one is going to be absolutely perfect. So again, going in with the shade Medium Cocoa, we're going to draw out to snatch that nose a little bit. Oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. Next is blush. So since I used that uh, little angled brush under my eyes earlier, I'm not going to use that for blush. I'm going to go in with a blush brush that I already have by Luxie, and that is this one right here. I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Trio, and that is in the shade Pink Passion. We're going to take this, uh, this one here on the edge. It's kind of a darker rosy pink, one that's kind of right in the middle just lightly apply just to give a little bit of glow a little bit of life back into me Laura Mercier and my beauty blender to bake the sides of my face right here and put some under my eyes so when I go into eyeshadow the fallout won't destroy my concealer I have very oily skin so I kind of bake a little extra I found have I have found that that is like magic <laughs> For my skin, I, seriously, it gets so oily, so I do whatever I can to prevent that from happening. I've applied powder under my eyes, on the sides of my face, a little bit on my chin, just a tiny bit under my nose, because I do get oils just around my nostrils as well. The last place I like to put a little bit extra powder is my forehead. I have some pretty deep wrinkles there, so it just really helps it to set that foundation right in those deep lines. All right, it's time for my favorite part, the eyeshadow. I do have a live today, so I'm going to go a little extra on my look. I'm going to be using the James Charles Morphe palette, one of my personal faves right now. I have always been a very neutral girl, so these bright colors have been way out of my comfort zone, but I've been loving it. It's fun to get out of your comfort zone. I totally recommend it. I'm going to go in with the purples on the bottom left hand corner that you see. I was thinking last night I did the blues, so today I'm like, I'm feeling the purple. Even though I'm wearing blue, but it's okay. We don't need to be matchy-matchy all the time. Starting off though, just for the crease, I want to go in with this super light pink shade just to kind of have a little bit of a buffer. We'll probably use that to uh, blend things out a little bit too. And that is in the shade Benny. So I'm just going to take a little bit. Oh. I love these brushes. Love it. Tap off the excess and go right in to the crease. You know what? I'm going to zoom you guys in really quick so you can see the eye look up a little closer. I think that's a lot better. So again, going in with the shade Benny just in my crease.
This is almost an invisible pink. Like, unless you layer it up a ton, you're not really going to see that pink hue very well, but that makes for the perfect blending shade. Especially for purples or pinks. It's brilliant, really. I just realized that I forgot to do my brows. I, that is like something that always happens. Like every single time I do my makeup, I always forget a step. So we, before we go any further, <laughs> I'm gonna go in and do my brows really quick. I'm gonna use, oh, we get a chance to use a new brush, yay! I'm gonna go in with this Morphe brush and it comes with a spoolie on the other side. Perfect for brows. Going in with the Anastasia Dip brow in the shade soft brown just gonna swatch in with that just a bit and go in to my brows I just tweezed them last night so I'm really excited get these brushes they're incredible I'm seriously just used to like Amazon brushes. Man, I didn't realize there was that much of a difference. Brows are officially done. Now we can go back into what we were doing. So the pink Benny, we're gonna keep applying in our crease until I get the desired um, full on color. Now my eyes are pretty hooded. Generally, you wanna stay right in this crease area, but with my eyes being so hooded, I go up a little bit more towards the brow, so the color actually comes through a little bit more, otherwise you can hardly even see it. Then moving into another really fluffy brush, we're gonna start going in with some purple. We're gonna be using this next one right here. Again, unfortunately, they don't have any numbers on these, so I can't tell you exactly which one this is, but. They don't have very many vegan brush sets. I think you can probably tell. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with the shade Single, which is this beautiful, beautiful purple right there. I'm gonna go as light as I can with this because I know it's really pigmented. So just working in on that crease. <sighs> These brushes blend so good. Where have you been all my life? Holy smokes. <laughs> I'm so in love with this stuff right now. Like, these brushes are a complete game changer. So next I wanna do a darker shade right on my eye. Unfortunately, I don't see a brush that I wanna use for this. I really, really love a fluffy pencil brush, if that even makes sense, which is this one right here. This is actually one, I think it's from e.l.f. I don't even know. I've had this forever, but it is really soft. It has a little bit of a density to it, so you can really do precision, but I love the angle, so I can kind of just do like a swipe and get like the perfect angle that I want, or at least I'm working on it. So I want to go in next with the shade Escape, and that is this really, really beautiful dark purple. Just lightly putting that on my brush, tapping off, tapping off that excess. This is going to be a little extreme. And I'm going to do just whoosh, an angle. I'll do it on this side first so you can see what I'm talking about. Swoop. Oh, I just love it. It really helps me because since I have hooded eyes, it's still really hard for me to get that angle down. So it helps just kind of form even a an angle for eyeliner later and it just is helpful. I want to go in with the first fluffy brush that we use so we can buff some of this color out to go right in and just start buffing. All about that blending, right guys? Gotta blend, blend, blend. Next up is concealer. I do wanna cut the crease. I wanna add a little bit of sparkle, sparkle in there. So I'm gonna take this little short brush so we can apply some concealer on it and get moving. I've been using the Fenty concealer for my whole look today. So I'm gonna just go in with that. Gonna take this, just get a little bit of it on the applicator and then move in.
to pack in a little bit of that product, I want to take this flat brush and go in with the shade Artistry. It's this really shimmery purple. It has like a blue shimmer to it. Really majestic looking. And I want to pack that on the lid. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. This is my and go back in with just a little tiny bit of the color that we used on the outer corner so we can blend this lighter purple in again just a tiny bit just lightly blend out that line so that's blended out it looks way 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 more smooth the thing I want to do is take the pencil brush I'm gonna go grab that one I want to go in with a lighter shade so we can do the inner corner and give it a little bit of a pop so I'm gonna go in right here with the shade daddy these brushes make me want to go throw away all my other brushes <laughs> last I want to grab my other little stubby brush so I'm going to take my, I'm going to go in with a sparkly, more shimmery shade. Um, this is going to be kind of interesting, but I'm going to use a blue. I think that would just give it a little bit of an extra pretty pop, and that's this blue right here. That is in the shade Mary. So first, I'm going to take my Mario Badescu spray. I love to use this to wet the brush because it's just so simple and easy, and those are not very expensive, and they smell amazing. But just going in lightly with that shade, I'm going to apply that kind of just right in the center of the lid. This is just going to give it a little bit more of that like majestic look that I want to go for. The last thing, lower lash line, you guys, I can't forget about that. So I'm going to take a little smaller fluffy brush, and that is this one right here. One of the last ones from the kit that we haven't used yet. I'm going to go in with the shade Single, and that is the one that we used on the second crease line there. Just a little bit, so we can do that pop in my lower lash line. Next thing I want to do is grab the sparkly shimmery purple and then the blue brush. We're going to be using both of these to kind of do our next step. So with this one, I'm going to just lightly get a little bit of that sparkly purple and just go right under the eye. With Next step, the blue. I want to wet that brush again just a little tiny bit. We're not going to use a lot of this. So just very lightly, grab a little bit of that blue and that is in the shade hello and I'm gonna apply that just right underneath where we applied it on the eyelid I'm done <laughs> all right next is eyeliner and mascara and lashes so I'm gonna go ahead and apply those really quick and I'll come back in a second and show you my final look okay welcome back final look has been apply applied applied and I will list all of my uh, products used on my face, eyes, brows, and everything down below in the caption. But the very, very last step is the finishing spray or setting spray, whatever you want to call it. Um, I have been in love with the Scandinavia one lately that is like amazing. It makes your makeup last like all day. Yeah, so that's this beauty right here. So I'm going to spray that all over. Got my fan. Let's zoom you in, get a final look, and then I'll give you my final review on the Morphe brushes. Totally digging it. Um, seriously, I'm always a neutral girl, and I'm not used to something this bright. I love it. I feel like a majestic queen. Super fun. It's just fun. I love to just have fun. I mean, makeup is such an artistry, really. You start with a blank canvas and you can do whatever you want. I mean, you can watch all these beauty gurus, but the end result, like when you pick up that brush, the magic is all in you. So it's just so fun to see what you can create and find a look that you really love. <gasps> I'm sure you're not surprised to hear that I love them. It blends out everything so wonderfully. I'm not even kidding. I want to just pick up all my brushes and just throw them in the garbage. <laughs> I want to just go buy all brand new Morphe brushes and just have them all here. I'm not. I'm going to hold back. Be patient. You can't go all crazy out the wazoo first. Kind of got to build up and Get the things that's on your dream list eventually. You don't have to do it right away. 
But my goodness, you guys, as a starter introduction to the Morphe products, or as far as makeup brushes go, oh man, I recommend these. I would definitely splurge. $25, you guys. If they go back in stock, go get some. They're amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you like this video. Please subscribe and ring the bell to see more. I post a new video every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Hope to see you back again soon. Have a wonderful day.